so let's continue with pagination without refreshing in first tutorial we can turn this uh, we can call a function display and after we can define a function height so now we can also call a function height and before this we can load the data in a div content we can use the id of a div id content and uh, after this we can use load function i use a new page and uh, page is pagination.php is we can send a first page and after this we can call a function hide and now this is for a first page after when we start with an and uh, after we can in pagination.php file I just there is a table table headers after and one row we have to make it dynamic so we can change the data on click of two one two so we can define it click function hash pagenet the pagenet Paginates ally dot click functions now it's after we can again call a display function now we can give a CSS to paginate ally We can change the color. It uh, zero zero six. After this, after this, we can check this. we can give a CSS it also same as to show differentiate from a active or inactive state after we can load a content div again for change the content as the same there is a there is a small change we can take a variable variable number of page for this we can use this dot id for storing the uh, id we can say it's a dynamic so we use it for check page number there we can send a variable num So now come to our page pagination.php where we have to make changes there is enough now we have to go pagination.php where first we have to include db file for database connection After this, we can check if dollar underscore get page value, then we can continue. We can save it in a variable dollar. And 
then after it, we run a query. Before this, we can count uh, the records or offsets value. For offset, we use a per page record per page. Same as we defined in a previous page, uh, there we can define a per page 5. There we also define a per page for this and after page minus 1 offset is your start value in for limit using in a query after this we can define a query same as we define in a first page but there is a minor change in a limit there is a limit offset and per page now we can repeat using while loop uh, we can repeat the trs so we can define the while loop first while yeah. as normally we can use a function mysql fetch underscore array and uh, after this we can repeat the trs We can make dynamic values in TDs uh, like echo, row name, same in the third, second row and same in the row third. There you can define a, there you can define a field name which you want to repeat again and again. we can take the output so let's check the output now the output is like this now we can you can see that the data is changed on this is called a pagination without page refreshing so let's down